Jalan Basar GRC Jalan Basar GRC 亲爱的加兰伯沙集选区的居民们，大家好，我是杨立明，连同王志豪、潘丽萍还有文理佳博士，我们是人民行动党在这区的候选人。As many of you know, between Chi Hao and Denise, they have more than 30 years of service in Jalan Besar. One result may be a new candidate. But in fact, he has more than 10 years' experience as a community leader. As for me, since 2006, I have been an MP of Bishan Topayo GLC. I shall miss my residents and grassroots leaders dearly. Many have become friends. They have taught me much about what it means to serve as an MP. As a minister, they know I will always do my best to improve our policies and programs, such as enhancing workfare and silver support and setting up the Pioneer Generation Office. But as their MP, what they want most from me is a listening ear and a willing heart. And this is how we have made many improvements together. In this regard, my priority is to get to know the residents of Jalan Basar. I am most grateful to Professor Yaqub Ibrahim and Dr. Lily New. Although they have stepped down, they have been most generous in sharing what they know with Rizal and I. We therefore am very aware that Jalan Basa is a thriving city centre with a kampong spirit. There are lots of programmes and volunteers supporting our residents. This is a place of great history and heritage. Chinatown, Bugis, Ballastia, Arab Street. It is also a place of great rejuvenation. The ABC waters in Kalang, Marina Bay area, and we are the only GRC where all five major MRT lines flow through. Let me now ask Chi Hao to share his reflections. Thank you, Josephine. Dear residents of Jalan Besar GRC, as Josephine has uh, mentioned just now, Denise and I have spent many years serving our residents of Jalan Besar GRC with our heart. And because of the service that we have rendered and the relationships that we have built, there is great trust between our residents and us. I'll just give you an example. One day, while I'm on one of my regular house-to-house -house visits, I came across this flat. Looking in, into the far end, I saw this lady cooking in the kitchen. So I called out to her, hello. She looked back at me and recognized me, and she said, Oh, Mr. Heng, ni lai la. Ah, boy, ah, boy, ni chu lai, Mr. Heng lai la. And she came to the door, and the son came up from the room. 
I had expected perhaps a little one, but actually he is a young teenager, big size, actually taller than me. And he said, hello, Mr. Heng. And the mom said, Mr. Heng, when he was little, you carried him. This conversation is quite typical when we go around in our house visits, not only in Wampo for me, but my colleagues in other parts of the Jalan Besar GRC. What it tells us is the depth of our relationship and the familiarity and the trust feels almost like family. And because of this, we are able to understand one another, understand the needs and know what is it that we should and must do for our residents. And this trust and wanting to continue uh, building this set of relationships with deep roots within Jalan Besar GRC is felt indeed by all our residents. When our boy grows up and wants to set up his own family, I bet you he would want to live near his parents, somewhere in Wampo perhaps, and certainly in Jalan Besar GRC. And he's more able to do so now than ever before because the HDB has been building progressively more built to order precincts, BTOs, and he would be able to do this. And when he is able to get uh, to live near the parents, what happens is not only is he happy and his parents happy, but the entire town is constantly rejuvenated and revitalized. It is like a tree with deep roots, solid and evergreen. And speaking of roots, I would just like to highlight to you another very special aspect of Jalan Besar GRC and our town. Josephine had mentioned just now that we are a place of history and of rich heritage, and it is absolutely right. And when you look at the places that we have in Jalan Besar GRC, you will really be able to understand what it means to have a multiracial, multi-religious Singapore, not in history only, but in day-to-day -day reality, living, thriving, in great harmony and exhibiting unity in diversity. This is our Jalan Besar town. This is our Jalan Besar GRC. This is our Kampong spirit. I would like to now ask Denise to share with us more in terms of the specifics uh, that we have achieved for our residents uh, in these past years. Denise? Thank you, Chi Hao. I am the Kampong girl from Jalan Besar whose life has been transformed. I was raised in the rental flat at Boon Keng Road. Had a happy childhood. I remember the days when, you know, we went to school, my siblings and I, to a nearby, nearby school, every day playing hopper tea and catching with our neighbours. Our family was not rich, but we never felt poor. Thanks to the Singapore government, I received a good education, worked overseas and locally, got married, have a good husband, found a good husband. And then when I found that my child has a special need, autism, I decided to actively volunteer got approached into politics, and here I am, back at Jalan Besar. So you see, Jalan Besar has a very special place in my heart. But the Jalan Besar of today is very different from the Jalan Besar of old when I was raised. It's a blend of older and younger residents, rental and purchase flats, uh, public and private housing estates, senior activity centres and childcare centres. It's like what Chi Hao has mentioned, constantly in the process of rejuvenation. In fact, in the last five years, we've done quite a bit, Chi Hao and I and the whole team. Uh, six MRT stations were constructed, uh, nine markets were upgraded. We have uh, 55 lift upgrading programs and home imp improvement programs and numerous social service programs. Every master plan that we say we will deliver that we have promised, we have delivered. But we're, our job is not finished. Our job is not finished yet. We know as a team that there's more to do. Our population is aging and we want to further support our elderly residents. We also have working adults who have come, grown here or moved into our estate, whose jobs, for example, are threatened because of COVID-19, because of the global competition. We want to do more for them. And for our younger ones, we want to look after them better. We want to educate them even better for lifelong learning. So I'm so pleased to have Josephine and Rizal join us in this team for Jalan Besar. Our joint passions, our experiences in human resource, in marketing, in economics, in 
in security, in education, disability advocacy, will give us ears at that intent and will help us listen better so that we can do more for you. To put action behind our desire to serve you honestly and diligently. After all, we are the People's Action Party. So now let's hear from Rizal, another Kampong boy, to share his story with you. Thank you, Denise. I spent my years in the Kampong. I remember chasing chickens and climbing trees. In the HDB flats, I played sports every day. And perhaps that may be the reason how I ended up in the normal stream in secondary school. I somehow managed to get a diploma, but because of my passion in sports, it spurred me to become a PE teacher. Now, as I continue to hone my skills and develop my interests, I obtained a, de a degree at the age of 31, and four children later, a PhD. My fellow Singaporeans, this is the Singapore story. It is a story about hope. It is a story about opportunities. And at a personal level, it is a story about rejuvenation. Indeed, I would not have done it without the support from my wife and my parents. But as we continue to battle this COVID-19 situation, as we prevail and move forward, we must continue to make Singapore a nation of opportunities, opportunities for every Singaporean to achieve success. Para penduduk Jalan Besar GRC, terima kasih atas sokongan anda selama ini. Tentu sekali, sokongan dan dukungan anda tidak akan diambil ringan. Saya ingin, me, saya ingin memberitahu kepada anda agar memberi kita sokongan yang padu untuk kita di masa hadapan, untuk masa depan anda dan keluarga anda. Terima kasih. Over to you, Josephine. When Li Jiabosi talked about the passing of the elderly, it reminds me of when I was young. I used to go to the hospital every day. 而我们喜欢吃的，就是在摩士街的客家酿豆腐。我们华人有句说法：“家有一老，如有一宝。”我很庆幸在财政部的时候，有机会推广建国一代配套，向我们的前辈们致敬。我现在在人力部，不久前也刚宣布，很快要加强我们的乐龄补贴计划，让更多的安哥安弟、安公安妈。拿到更高的补贴，衷心感谢大家多年以来对人民行动党的支持和信任。我们现在面临的是一个非常可怕的病毒，严重影响了大家的生活。我们需要得到你的再次委托，和你一起度过这个难关，让我们继续和你打造一个充满关爱和温暖的。家园充满活力的一个社区。Dear residents, COVID-19 has threatened our lives, our jobs, our future. The PAP team in Jalan Besar is determined to walk this journey with you and to support you in every possible way. Please vote for the PAP. Let us continue to create our stories, our hopes. Our homes together with you. Thank you very much. Thank you. My fellow Singaporeans and Jalan Besarians, my party, People's Voice, has said that it is time for real change in Singapore. You are watching this program because you know it is time for change. It is time to put people first. It is time to make Singapore our home again. It is time to regain our dignity, our country, our future. What do we mean when people's voices make Singapore our home again? Many of you, like myself, will remember a time in Singapore when there were many jobs available for willing workers, when our young could graduate with full confidence that there were many opportunities awaiting them, when employees felt secure in their careers and in their industry, when parents felt confident that their children would have a better and not a lesser future than them, and when the young were excited about starting new families, 
not being burdened with increasing cost of living every day and new taxes being imposed on them. Alas, times have changed. And today, many Singaporeans feel abandoned by this government. They look with sadness at the fact that this government is bestowing generosity and love on foreigners more than their own citizens. And they do not understand why. They do not understand why this government is allowing jobs to be taken, taken away by foreigners at the expense of Singaporeans. I liken that to a bad father because a bad father will allow an alien child to come into the family and neglect his own children. And they look with sadness at the insane immigration policies that this government has pursued for the last two decades. This government was hurtling towards a 10 million population, although it now denies it. But check the record, my friends. If not for strong voices like People's Voice and another party, the Singapore Democratic Party, do you think that the government and Vivian Balakrishnan would have buckled and made that U-turn yesterday? And that shows you the importance of a strong opposition in Parliament. Without a strong opposition in Parliament, this government will never listen. I founded People's Voice because I wanted to make Singapore our home again. People's Voice is a democratic party with direct democracy at its heart. What do we mean by that? That means more national discussions, more referendums, more blockchain local voting. Many of you will remember the stolen elected presidency we had three years ago. Today, we have a president who was not elected by a single Singaporean voter. That is not the type of democracy that we aspire to. We have great candidates who will make great members of parliament. There are two aspects to being a good member of parliament. The first being the ability to listen and work with the local community. And secondly, to be able to transport the issues and concerns of the constituents into national parliament. But before I introduce members of my team, there is something I must speak about, which has become the greatest crisis in modern times, and that is COVID-19. When COVID-19 burst upon the scene in late January, it was known as the Wuhan virus. There was so much speculation then as to whether it was a naturally occurring virus, whether it was accidentally leaked from a laboratory, whether it was purposely leaked, or whether it was a bioweapon. If it had been a bioweapon, we would have needed to act with speed and decisiveness. But our government did not act with speed or decisiveness, despite the fact that they told us they had been prepared for 17 years after SARS. There was a shortage of masks, and worse still, they were telling people to go about life as normal. They allowed Chingay, the air show, mass events to go ahead. When foreign participants had pulled out of the air show in order to protect their employees, this government was not protecting its citizens. On top of that, they were happily going about arranging Madeka generation events when the elderly the most vulnerable in society should have been protected. And we watched with horror the photos, the videos, which circulated online about these mass events. We spend billions of dollars every year on defense. And whenever someone suggests that the defense budget should be cut, the PAP will pounce on that person and say that he or she is weak on defense. They will not even reconsider the allocation of a certain portion of the defence budget 
to health care or free schooling. But at the end of the day, it is not the number of F-35s you have. It is, not the, it is not how well equipped your military is. It is not how many sons are serving national service. What is important is how the leaders decide and come to a decision and how they make judgment calls that will protect the lives and safety of the citizens. Today, we have been described as one of the greatest failures as far as COVID-19 is concerned. And Lawrence Wong told Singaporeans they did not have the benefit of hindsight. Great leaders make great decisions and great judgment calls, even when they don't have the full facts before them. My friends, I ask you to imagine if COVID-19 had been a bioweapon, Singaporeans would not have stood a chance with this bunch of 4G leaders. They cannot protect us in peacetime, let alone in wartime. And now they have appointed Josephine Teo to lead their Jalan Besar GRC team. She is singularly responsible for the great explosion of COVID cases in the foreign dormitories in the foreign workers dormitories. The first foreign worker got infected in February. She should have known then of the dangers of infection spreading in densely crowded dormitories. But she either did not care or she was careless and she allowed the event to happen. Josephine Teo is also the minister who once said that inequality is a sign of the economy's success. There are many cleaners who live in Jalan Besar. They earn on average $1,200 a month. We have a prime minister who earns $2.2 million a year. That is about 159 times what a cleaner earns. That is inequality on an obscene scale. Jalan Besarians, I hope your vote, you will use your vote on the 10th of July as a referendum on Josephine Teo's competence and leadership. If you do not think that her leadership is what you want in Parliament, may I suggest that there is another choice and that you should vote People's Voice. I would now like to spend a few minutes introducing the other members of my team. I have Leong Zihian one of the most foremost human rights campaigner in Singapore. A person with immense qualifications and who has spent the last 15 years providing financial counselling for the many. I have with me also Aslan Sulaiman, one of the most recognised and renowned halal consultants in the world. And finally, I have Dr Michael Fang, a medically trained doctor who has now turned his skills and attention to medical administration. It is a formidable team. It is a team that will be able to take care of the needs of the residents of Jalan Besar and to run the town council properly. We ask for nothing to serve you. We only ask for the chance to serve. And you can be confident that none of us will be holding 69 corporate positions. We will be spending our time on you. Thank you very much.
Here are the candidates contesting in Jurong GRC. Saudara saudari sekalian, Bonakam Saga Kudimakali. Kowe Tong Pao, my fellow Singaporeans and residents of Jurong GRC. The PAP has been with you in Jurong for many years, and each member of our team at this elections has been working with you in Jurong for years. That includes our two new members, Sean Huang and Xia Yao Chen, who have been working tirelessly as community volunteers for several years in Jurong. We sincerely hope that we can continue to serve you in Jurong as a PAP team. Our style is to be on the ground, listening to your views and trying to solve problems. Visiting you at home, meeting you at the market or coffee shop, or at our Meet the People sessions at least a few times a week, year in, year out. We try to solve every problem, big or small. Sometimes they take a little time to solve, but we never walk away from a problem. During the COVID-19 crisis, we worked hard and mobilized all our volunteers and community networks to help families whose incomes had been hit, to ensure that disadvantaged children had extra support, and to reach out to seniors, especially those living on their own, to help them with their shopping or their meals, or to make friendly calls. But there is more to be done, and there's more that we have to do in the coming year and the years to come, nationally and in each of our neighbourhoods, to ensure that every Singaporean who loses a job is able to get a new job, to ensure that employers do not have easy excuses to turn down a middle-aged or mature Singaporean. And much more to be done to achieve a fairer and more inclusive society. The PAP is committed to achieving this with Singaporeans. We are making steady progress, but there's more to be done together. It involves government policies, but ultimately an inclusive society is about all of us. It comes down to the respect we give each other, regardless of the jobs we each do, or our race or social backgrounds. And it comes down to knowing that if one segment of our population loses hope, we all have less hope. So we have to support each other through good times and bad. As the Malays say, Berat sama di pikul, ringan sama di jinjing. And as the Chinese say, Feng Yu Tong Chou, Tong Chou Gong Chi. 
The older generations knew that in their bones because they went through tough times. But in those days, what it meant was to help each other in our own communities or clans. Now more than ever before, we have to develop solidarity as Singaporeans and deepen our identity as Singaporeans. It does not bloom overnight, but we are seeing the culture grow in Jurong and in Singapore. It is this growing culture of solidarity that gives us confidence in our future. I recently shared a picture that I took in Jurong. A Malay uncle helping an elderly Chinese lady with an umbrella in the rain. A little more shelter for you is not less shade for me. This is what we believe and practice in Jurong. Everyone pitching in to help and look after one another. I've had the privilege of working with many who had second chances in Jurong, who are now committed to helping others. One such story begins with a boy who narrowly missed the gallows because the heroin he carried missed the, best, the death penalty by less than a gram. In prison, fights would land him in solitary confinement for several months and he began to reflect on his actions. He began thinking, not of himself, but of the next youth who would journey down the same path. He was given a second chance, and he did well. Step by step, he turned his life around. And today, he's doing his master's degree in social work. He mentors youths to help them choose the best path in life and help ex-offenders restart theirs. Stories like these in Jurong is one of many. Concrete initiatives started with a single idea that I could do more and give second chances. With a deep belief that I too can pay it forward. We must work 帮助那些在人生道路上跌倒的人重新站起来，以更坚强、更有信心的姿态开展新生活。谢谢。do you value hard work, passion, and resilience? We do, and we see it in our residents every day, which is why we are so motivated and inspired to serve. The PEP team has served in Jurong for many years, and we do so in the Jurong way. As Sam spoke about the Jurong style, let me tell you a little bit more about it. I was at Taman Jurong brunch some time back on a weekend for a meeting. The brunch was closed, but a resident had come by asking for some help. The meeting was about to start, but SM quickly got out to speak to her and upon understanding her situation, had a plan of action for her. This is an example of how we take immediate concrete action. And on many occasions, SM has encouraged us to listen to residents and do our best to help them. And this is what we do in Jurong. Every individual resident is precious to us. Policies and programs would mean nothing if they do not translate to actual support and help to our residents. Indeed, supporting our residents and their families remain our utmost priority. There are all sorts of families, families with young children, families who have to take care of their elderly parents, families who have children with special needs. At Bukit Batu East, we have various programs for them. One in particular which is meaningful to me is an Empowerment for Women program where we help women from low-income family gain hope from self-improvement and encourage them to attain financial independence. One of my residents who participated in this program was a divorcee with four children. After the divorce, she struggled to make ends meet and to get housing. My team and I assisted her along the way and I'm happy that she's now well on her way to have a better life. Another resident was a lady I often meet at events. She has nine children. And one day, during a bursary presentation to her children, I noticed that she was not around, which was unusual. Her husband told me she was busy. The next time I saw her, I asked her where she was that day. She told me, 
I got a job. I was working. You told me I could get a job, didn't you? It is heartening and inspiring to see residents work hard to make their lives better and their families' lives better. Di Jurong, kami committed untuk terus memastikan kami dapat membantu mereka yang ditimpa kesusahan. Kami juga ingin terus melihat masyarakat kita maju. Ada pelbagai program dan inisiatif termasuk program-program M Kuasa 3 seperti kelas matematika yang membantu ibu bapa untuk mengajar anak mereka dan juga projek so iaitu program mentoring untuk belia. Kami mahu terus membina di atas usaha ini terutama sekali dalam masa-masa sukar seperti sekarang. Kami sedia untuk terus berkhidmat kepada penduduk jurung dan ingin melalui segala cabaran bersama. Bak kata pepatah, bukit sama didaki, lurah sama dituruni. I am proud to stand alongside my teammates in Jurong GRC. We are truly a local team. We know you and you know us. And if given the opportunity, we would very much like to build on our previous efforts and make life better for residents of Jurong. Please support us. Dear residents, the other day at a COVID-19 facility that my hospital colleagues and I are setting up, I ran into a community volunteer whom I worked with for a long time in Jurong. I know him to be a freelance photographer, and so I asked him what was he doing at the facility. Turns out, he had taken on a part-time job with the facility contractor to install fittings, and he would be moving on to another assignment soon. He had to find alternative ways to make and meets in these very difficult times. We know there are many residents like him. And we know there are fresh graduates who are still trying very hard to find a job. And we know that it is not just about a job, but also all the knock-on impact that comes with it. Education of children, caregiving for parents, mortgages, anxieties, that weigh on the entire family. Our commitment to you, our residents, is that we will work doubly hard and do all we can to make sure you bounce back. We will provide you with all our support at the community level to complement various schemes by the government. We understand that cost of living is a major concern and already have several schemes in Jurong, such as a program that I introduced as a community volunteer for lower income families to buy essentials at discounted prices every month. But we want to do more. We plan to work with partners and our network of merchants to expand the program in Jurong. We must do more. Our promise is to walk with you at each step of this journey. 晚上好，我们正面临新加坡独立以来最严峻的经济危机。我们深知许多居民失去了工作，尤其是中年人士。我们也深知许多刚毕了业的年轻人仍然在找寻他们的第一份全职工。我们更了解。我们也深知许多
also works as a teacher, bringing up, uplifting the next generation. Miao Wei's grandfather was a sailor. Her father grew up in tough times. Today, Miao Wei is a physiotherapist, healing the sick and elderly. They're all our Singapore story, doing better, helping the next generation, giving back to society. And in Clementi, we work to keep that story going. Equal opportunities, but with extra help for children with less. In our tuition mentoring program, young volunteers of different races help young children, building friendship, giving time, energy, and heart. Good for the kids, good for the volunteers. And this too is the Singapore story, a deeper interest in one another's journeys, deepening our identity as Singaporeans, as SM Thaman mentioned. We must keep on trying with all our heart to build a more multiracial society. We must keep on trying. Saudara Saudari, Kawan Kawan Daring Jurong dan Clementi, saya sangat percaya kepada keharmonian kaum dengan aktiviti ada kawan kawan dari bangsa lain lain. Dengan kita hormat semua orang tak kira siapa kita. Dengan kita kerja kerja di community, di sekolah, di tempat kerja, kita akan bersatu padu dan satu negara yang kuat dan lagi istimewa. We have to be in this together. It makes us one Singapore family. And with your help, we can make it happen in Jurong GRC. Dear voters of Jurong GRC, I am Ravi Philemon, the Secretary General of Red Dot United. We are a new political party, but the candidates we are fielding in this election are already known to Singaporeans. Most of us have been involved in the social and political life of Singapore for over 10 years. We have now stepped forward to give the voters of Jurong GRC the choice to represent them in Parliament. We know most voters in Jurong GRC are extremely concerned about jobs and your job security. PAP believes the best form of welfare is for you to work. Does that mean you having to take two jobs to be comfortable? Does it mean you have to constantly fear losing your job so that you don't get left behind? We, Red Dot United, don't think so. Our focus is going to be on, create, is going to be on creating good jobs, not just job opportunities. We are talking about creating careers, a career that can give you a comfortable life with your families. Mr. Darman's promise of temporary jobs in this downturn is a poor substitute. This is a continuation of the massive structural unemployment that Singapore is potentially facing. It shows PAP's lack of foresight and slow response to economic changes. We need careers not just job opportunities. If elected, RDU will fulfil our promise and push the government to reverse the current train-first, jobs-later approach. With only 11% of PMETs helped through government schemes, we will demand better job matching and ensure they continue to be employed. We know Jurong GRC. I lived in Clementi in my growing years. You are my community my people. The first HDB flat I bought after my marriage was in Bukit Bato East Avenue 4. I have many fond memories and relationships here in Jurong East and Jurong West. I understand the joys and frustrations they face every day. Jurong GRC is a diverse community. Some flats in Clementi were built in the late 70s and 80s. The reality is they face the grim prospect of owning assets which will have little value once their 99 years lease run out. What happened to PAP's promise that the value of our homes will never go down? If elected, RDU will fulfill our charter promise and push the government to commit to a mandatory upgrading program or SERS for life. The Jurong Lake District was supposed to have a high-speed rail. The area 
was promised to be transformed into a major tourist destination. Diplomatic failures and the pandemic have now left these developments in a limbo. What now is a remedy for those that invested in the area by believing in such promises? The way ahead for Singapore is not as clear as it is made to seem. We have outlined our promises and proposals on issues that matter to you in our charter for this GE. We need leaders who have the interests of the people at heart, not just to steer us through this storm, but to bring us to greater prosperity. PAP sees Singapore as a sampan. Even if it is a sampan 2.0, it is vulnerable, weak, and swings precariously in the tides of the times. At RDU, we believe we need to be a confident ocean liner where Singaporeans can confidently navigate the challenges we face today. We are the captains of our own lives. What we need is a government that has enough faith in its citizen and to empower them for the future. We need you. Every vote for us points the next government in the right direction. On 10th July, vote for Red Dot United. Thank you. Jurong GRC in Anbana Vakarlat Gale. COVID Patton Badirke Munare. Thoril nutpa ida yurigal na mulagai matric kundirndana. In the matrangal, Totrunoi kalatirke pin innum turida madayum. Palar, tangal vele hile ida pargal. Nerea, ullur niravanangal muda padu. In the nirkadiana kalangalil, makal munetra kachi, makalukum, avargal prachenegalukum seriana tirve kanuma. Ningal yengal kachi. Ondru patta sebab pulik ke alikum over vakum arsangatte sariyan desegil undi tarlu. Varum July patte andre ondru patta sebab pulik ke vakaliyengal nandri. Dear residents of Jurong GRC, in this changing world, some of our economic growth strategies need to be completely re-evaluated. Singapore has gone too many years applying outdated policies of bringing in MNCs, importing low-cost foreign workers and building malls after malls. These are external fixes, plasters, which suppress the search for deeper and better solutions. COVID-19 has shone a spotlight on the need for transparency and accountability of government decisions. RDU will call for more information on why certain decisions have been made. After spending one and a half billion on Jewel, why begin work on Changi Airport Terminal 5 to cost tens of billions of dollars? Now it seems foolish as the travel and tourism sectors will take years to recover. There are other examples of plans pursued in haze and repented with hindsight. Here in Jurong, they are planning to rebuild the Science Centre entirely. Why this frantic pace of rushing into grand plans which need an army of foreign labourers to carry out? The answer is probably to follow the money. The government told us that we have these huge reserves to draw on because our people have always saved more than they spent. Is there such a thing as too much in the reserves? The economists tell us that there is. Regardless of income, people spend money and it all flows to the government in numerous ways through transportation, food, healthcare, housing, business rentals, taxes and levies. We pay COE, MRT, ERP, GST, NTUC, HDB, CPF, Sing Health. All these are in the control of our government. The more we pay out, the less we spend or save or invest. This hurts the economy as well as the individual. Then, the government spends millions or billions on the huge projects mentioned earlier, or they take the money and invest overseas through GIC and Temasek. As the paymaster, with money in their hands rather than in yours, the government wields immense power and influence. Only your vote is the check and balance. 
the PAP no longer has a winning formula for Singapore. In fact, much of their success has been built upon unsustainable and harmful policies for our people. This is not right. RDU believes it is time to pause and put the people and their lives at the heart of each sector. We want better and less stressful lives for our people. Our government is at the heart of life in Singapore. But is the Singaporean's life at the heart of the government? In Jurong, we face SM Taman. But ultimately, he is one voice in the unchangeable machinery of the PAP. He needs to follow the party line, as do all the PAP MPs. The choice before the residents of Jurong is a choice between the PAP and non-PAP. If we are voted into Parliament, we can and will speak up for you, the people. RDU champions more information, more choices, more equality of opportunity and help for the disadvantaged and the elderly. We believe in people-centred politics. We want Singaporeans to be the captains of their own lives. Old strategies that cannot adapt will not sail Singapore through the coming storms. The only way to steer the government in the right direction is to show them clearly with your vote on polling day. Your vote is completely secret. Please vote for the future of Singapore and all Singaporeans on 10th July. Vote for Red Dot United. Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera. Para penghuni jurong yang dihormati, nama saya Liana Damira, calon anda dari Parti Titik Merah Bersatu atau lebih dikenali sebagai RDU. Kami adalah parti politik baru, tetapi calon-calon yang kami tampilkan dalam pilihan raya ini telah melibatkan diri dalam kehidupan sosial dan politik Singapura lebih dari 10 tahun. Kami tahu ramai pengundi di Jurong prihatin dengan pekerjaan dan keamanan pekerjaan mereka. PAP pula berpendapat bahawa bentuk kebajikan yang terbaik adalah untuk bekerja. Adakah ini bermakna anda perlu mengambil dua pekerjaan untuk menyara hidup yang selesa? Atau adakah ini bermaksud anda perlu sentiasa takut dan kehilangan pekerjaan anda dan ketinggalan? Kami di RDU tidak setuju bahawa kebajikan harus dikaitkan dengan pekerjaan. Tumpuan kami adalah untuk mewujudkan kerjaya, bukan hanya peluang pekerjaan. Kerjaya yang dapat memberi anda kehidupan yang selesa bersama keluarga anda. Kita perlukan kerjaya, bukan hanya peluang pekerjaan. Kita juga perlukan pemimpin yang mementingkan rakyat di hati dan jiwa mereka. The lessons that I learned from my experiences, I will keep with me forever. And I want to make sure that no one in Singapore will have to go through what I went through. Chuan 不但夺取了我们的工作红点同心党有一个建议 
，是一个我们非常尊重的部长，可是他只是一个人，在庞大的体制面前，他也无法做出什么新的新的改变。唯一最有效的办法，就是你们的投票。这一次，请你们把票投给我们，红点同心党。跟大家说出一句话，就是我们要的是根本性的改变。谢谢。Dear residents of Jurong GRC, I am Nicholas Tang, a candidate from Red Dot United. At Red Dot United, we want to give the voters of Jurong GRC a choice and a chance to exercise their constitutional right to vote. This is what Red Dot United stands for. We want to give Singaporeans more options and the flexibility to exercise these options, so that we can become captains of our own lives. We want to empower Singaporeans to make their own decisions. We believe that you know better than the government how best to live your life. Only you can do what's best for yourself. We need to become the captains of our own lives. These are not just our ideas. These can be your ideas as well. All you need to do is to vote for them. Vote to point the government in the right direction. Vote for Red Dot United. Here are the candidates contesting in Kebun Baru SMC. Hi, I'm Kwe Kian Chuan Henry, Guo Xian Chuan, candidate for Kebun Baru. Kebun Baru is like a second home to me. I hear your concerns. What's going to happen to my job? What happens after I graduate? How do I keep my business moving forward? Yes, these are tough times, but I know our people in Kebun Baru and we are tough people. Together, we can overcome the hurdles and emerge stronger. Over the last five years, we have come a long way. Thank you for opening your hearts to me. Your concerns, hopes and aspirations have shaped my agenda and what we do in the community. Together, we have fought for seniors' rights in parliaments, including higher CPF contribution rates, more support for companies amidst COVID-19, including lower interest rates, more jobs, more training opportunities for our youth and our middle-aged workers. I will continue to speak up for you. And within Coburn Borough, to help our residents in needs, we have started a new social work movement by recruiting more than 300 new volunteers and more than 30 new social work and assistance programs. But while we have achieved a lot, there's much, much more we need to do. Based on your concerns and your aspirations, I will prioritise three things. One, we will ramp up our successful job counselling centre to help you find jobs and help you overcome financial difficulties. Two, we will 
network our business leaders and our professionals. That means more networking talks, more industry talks, more networking sessions. And three, we will make Kaboom Baru the most senior, dementia-friendly community in Singapore and we'll make it more senior-friendly. And while we are now in SMC, you will be taken care of. We will join Amokyo Town Council. To make all this happen, my team and I will need your ideas, your passion, your support. I'm the man you can trust. I'm here to serve you. I'm here to listen to you. I am here with you. No problem is too big or small, and your problems are mine. Yes, these are tough times, but I'm confident that together, Kibun Baru, we can emerge stronger. I'm Kwe Kian Chuan Henry, Guo Xian Chuan, and I'm ready to continue to serve you. Dear fellow Singaporeans, I'm the candidate for Kebun Baru and it is an honour and privilege to serve this community. I've learned much about this community and having walked the ground for some time now, I have a closer affinity to this place and the residents of Kebun Baru. There are a couple of things that are close to my heart. One is about the care for the elderly in this estate and the accessibility to the main thoroughfares for them. I'm, uh, I'm aware of the need to build ramps to make it easier for those on wheelchair to access Mayflower Market and Hawker Centre. A lot of this infrastructure needs to be upgraded for the elderly population. There is also the issue of peak hour traffic around the vicinity of the schools in the neighbourhood. We are currently speaking to stakeholders and we are looking at the various solutions to this problem. In the landed estates of Sambawang and Thompson Hills, there's a problem with mosquito breeding because of the drainage system gets clogged up when it rains and the gutters become stagnant. One person claiming to be the grassroots was quite dismissive about the outbreak. But I think this problem needs a concerted effort to have a better control of dengue in this area. While the local issues are top of my agenda, I also like to spend some time on the national issues that concerns the residents of Kebun Baru. The PAP government has been in power since 1959, first as a state government and later as national government since independence. The current government has gone astray and it's no longer the same as the ones that was founded by our founding fathers. It is time for us to change direction. Some of the heartlanders that I've spoken to are concerned about their job prospects and most of them are worried that their children may not have the same opportunities for up, upward movement in the future. Job displacement is also a major concern amongst them. The hawkers at Mayflower Market are hard pressed financially since the outbreak of COVID-19 and the implementation of the circuit breaker. One hawker has two handicapped sons and is forced to keep his business alive just to ensure the kids have food on the table. The hawker is in his 70s. He has approached the incumbent for support and because he's just above the threshold for support and welfare, he has been denied the support and care he deserves. These are some of the stories on the ground. They are heartbreaking and these people definitely need our support, love and attention. The government's indecisiveness over the COVID-19 issue has caused us billions in economic loss job losses and SME owners losing their livelihoods completely. It is time for us to make a stand and change direction so that we can secure our future for our children and their children. You deserve better. Singapore deserves better. Vote for PSP. Vote for me. For country. For people. Thank you. Here are the candidates contesting in McPherson SMC. Dearest voters of Macpherson, I have steadfastly served you over the past 10 years in Parliament and in Macpherson. You are the reason that drives me to always want to be the better me and to always do better for Macpherson. Thank you for sharing your stories with me. I remember the many moments I have with my residents. I remember in most recent times an 80-year-old uncle who cried to me because he lost his job due to the pandemic and is worried about whether he can raise his family. I remember Madam Keck, who lost her newfound job again due to the pandemic, 
But through a little bit of our help, we managed to find her an interim job so that she can tide through the difficult times. I remember this young man who told me that because of a little hiccup earlier on in life, he did not do well academically. But with our help, with his grit and his talent, he managed to get into the school of his choice. What I saw during this pandemic resolve, strengthened my resolve to help our Singaporeans to be there for them. And the stories that you have shared with me was what I brought into the parliament. And because of your stories, I have been able to voice out for you and fight for you in parliament. I look forward to a Singapore in which we are able to protect our people, a Singapore where our elderly will look forward to each new dawn, where our families feel safe and secure, and where our children look forward to the future with great eager and enthusiasm. At Macpherson, we care, I care. I want to build on the programs that we have for our seniors, for our families, for our young. I want to continue to see through and fight for more improvement projects so as to enhance the vibrancy, safety and accessibility of our home environment. I want to continue to press for sustainable in our, our environment so that we can pursue clean energy strategies and help our lower income families to also make use of clean energy. 亲爱的麦博生选民，在过去的十年里，感谢你让我与你同行。我最感激的是你们对我的信任，最感动的是和你的情感。我希望我可以继续和你们同行。你当你们每次告诉我你们所面对的困难时，其实我心里非常纠结，希望可以尽我全最大的能力来帮助你们。我希望我可以在麦波生继续强化基础，打造更多的平台，推广更多的活动，让我们的长辈每天都有新希望，让我们的家庭可以更惬意、更安定的过生活，让我们的青年能够从向。向往未来，我希望可以与你同行，请投票支持我。Please vote for me. Wendy La Saya, Yenago Vakalingo. 麦波森的选民，各位同胞，大家，麦波森是一个典型人口老化的社区，许多居民都是建国一代，他们为我国的建设奉献了一生，但是在他们退休之际，他们是否能安享晚年？衣食无忧呢？我们这样富有的国家，除了给他们一些小恩小惠以外，是否能为他们提供一个更健全、全方位的退休养老机制？公积金本来就是为了保障我国退休生活而制定的，可是为什么当我们退休的时候，竟然发现钱不够用呢？因为公积金的回报率太低了。这九十年代，公积金的回报率一直停滞在二点五八仙，加上行动党政府让国人动用过多的公积金来购买主屋，这导致退休的时候，我们昂然发现户口里面所剩无几。行动党政府当初答应建国一代五十五岁就能提取所有的公积金，可是如今没有兑现承诺。我国的医疗费的增长幅度已经失控，一些政府医院的丰收费竟然比私人医院还要高，这是非常荒谬的。要解决国人没钱退休，又要负担昂贵的医药费的问题，改革公积金和医疗政策是势在必行。请投我无名胜利票，让我在国会里捍卫大家的利益。When we are talking about defending Singaporeans' interests, jobs are the top priorities. The liberal foreign talent policies has made companies unwilling to hire and groom our local workforce. They would rather employ foreign workers who are cheaper whenever possible. This will eventually create a vicious cycle of a structural underemployment among Singaporeans and PMEPs. Furthermore, the problems created by the HDB Asset Enhancement Scheme and Lease Decay have not been fully addressed. I propose a host of solutions for HDB, which the PAP has partially adopted. All these policy flaws exist because we do not have a strong parliament with more opposition members to provide the necessary robust policy debates with PAP. The lack of such checks and balances has cost us dearly. My fellow Singaporeans in Mapperson, please vote me in to Parliament as part of our effort to build a strong Parliament for our nation. Thank you.
Here are the candidates contesting in Marine Parade GRC. Selamat malam, Tatia Wan Shanghao, Vanekam. Good evening, friends, residents of Marine Parade GRC. I am Tan Chuan Jin. Thank you very much for your support all these many years. For my team and I, it is a tremendous privilege to be able to serve you, our residents. You will be familiar with Edwin Tong, Sia Ken Peng, but we are now joined by Dr. Tan Si Leng and Muhammad Fami Aliman. But we do have to bid farewell to ESM Go Chok Tong and Professor Fatima Latif. We are especially thankful to ESM Go, who has been in Marine Parade since 1976. That was when I was in Primary 1. But despite the changes, our commitment to serve you, our residents, remains unchanged. I remember when I first started as an MP, I had a resident who had some drug issues and complex problems. We were working with her continuously. She didn't give up. My volunteers didn't give up. Our agencies didn't give up. We continue to do what we can. After a few years, we didn't see her. Recently, she came back. She looked different. She looked better. And she told me she was very pleased to approach me for help again. She was now holding supervisory responsibilities in her cleaning job. But because of her previous records, she couldn't gain access to some of the facilities. She asked if we could help. I can tell you for my team and I, we were incredibly touched to see her in this state. We were more than happy to help. And we were glad that we were able to do so. I think in Marine Parade GRC, we are fully committed to making sure that in everything that we do, our people, you, our residents, remain at the centre of everything that we do. I'll now hand you over to Edwin, who will share with you his thoughts and ideas. Edwin? 
Good evening, friends and residents of Marine Parade GRC. Thank you for listening to us. My name is Edwin Tong. I was first elected into Parliament in 2011, and in 2018, I was appointed Senior Minister of State in the Ministries of Law and Health. Since 2015, I've been serving the residents of Duchet. It's been a tremendous privilege to have done so. And I'm standing in this general election because I wish to continue with this work. My colleagues and I are committed to doing our best to improve your lives, to enhance your living spaces, and to make Duchet truly a better home for all. Over the last term, much has been done, and I look forward to doing even more. Let me say a little bit more about this. The MRT is coming to Juchet for the first time. In fact, two stations in the Thompson East Coast Line will be at Juchet. It will improve connectivity and ease of travel. There will be a new polyclinic. It will have a broad range of medical services to cater to our people, especially an ageing population. And it will be ready at the end of this year. We are also upgrading the Siglap and Frankel Estates. It's something that I'm particularly proud of. I raised it in Parliament, lobbied the government a few times over the last couple of years. And I'm very happy to say that we will now be proceeding with the upgrading. It will refresh and rejuvenate Siglap and Frankel. And we'll do it collaboratively with you, working with you to understand how you live and play, and then design the proposed changes around that. We have also recently opened the upgraded Sparkle Tots at Juchet. Spacious, modern, with a lot more outdoor facilities. But more importantly, children from whatever background can now have access to quality preschool and childcare in a good environment and have enhanced better facilities. Finally, I believe that building a better home is not just about hardware. It's not just about the parks and the MRT spaces. It's about the people. It's about the people we live with. It's not, we should all not just live in a community, but as a community, so that people of diverse races, cultures, backgrounds can all come together, live as one, and be proud to call Juchet our home. So please help us with your mandate. Please support us. We will continue to do our best to serve you. Please vote my team. Please vote the PAP. Thank you very much. I'll now hand over you to Ken Peng. Thank you, Edwin. I am Sia Ken Peng. It has been the privilege to have served you since 2006. Over the years, our GRC has renewed many times. At Bradley Heights, we have access to good amenities and infrastructure. When the Circle Line first started operating, three of the five stations, Bartley, Serangoon, Lorong Chuan, it made a world of difference. Next big project is a new polyclinic with a kidney dialysis center. This is great news, especially for the older residents. But as what Chuan Jin and Edwin have said, while well, infrastructure is important, at the end of the day, it's the people that matter, you and I. So we are building a special kind of community in our GRC, one that looks out and takes care of its people. And which is why in our GRC, we have a range of We Care programs to help the vulnerable in our midst, be it providing free meals, food rations, befriending services, tuition or rehab sessions. For me, family and duty of care is key to everything, which is why in Parliament, I speak out on these causes. I remember 14 years ago when I first became an MP, one of the first things I raised was I wanted to fathers to spend time when their babies are born. In 2006, there was no paternity leave for fathers. I raised this for six consecutive years. I'm glad there has been much progress since, and now fathers get to enjoy 14 days of paternity leave. Another area is providing care for parents. In 2010, I led a group of MPs and NMPs to amend the Maintenance of Parents Act. We did this through a private member's bill. We wanted to provide 
peace of mind to elderly parents. This is something which is dear to me and, and beyond, beyond money, security of family ties has made a positive difference to the lives of many elderly parents and their sons and daughters. There's much more work to be done, which is why we ask you to vote us so that we can continue to make a difference, continue to make Marine Parade GRC a home where there's a place and heart for everyone. Let me now hand over to Si Ling, who will speak about this more. Thank you. Thank you. 尊敬的居民, 我是陈思龙，感谢你们多年来对吴志正和马林百列团队的支持。我会继续他们的奋斗，以保障我们的生活，保护我们的工作和确保我们的未来。我很体谅低收入家庭的需求，我希望能为中低路家家庭做出积极
and at the agency level so that they can continually upgrade their skills and learn new things through job fairs, career fairs, and leveraging on Wisma Gelang Serai to organize a jobs placement center for the residents. I have a personal interest and passion to see this through. Through the We Care framework, I will organize a focus group discussion for the residents to air out what are the things that we can work together, enhance the support, and uh, for the uh, vulnerable uh, families, improve their accessibility uh, for the uh, disabled and elderly, and make Gelang Serai a more greener and more sustainable uh, place to live. At the same time, maintaining Gelang Serai as the cultural icon of Singapore. Please allow me to say a few words in Malay. Saya sungguh berbesar hati dapat bekerja sama dengan Dr. Maliki Osman dalam wadah M03 di Wisma Gelang Serai. Banyak rancangan yang sudah dilakarkan untuk membarui dan memberi, memberi kenaikan kepada Gelang Serai. Visi projek ini adalah untuk memantapkan watak budaya Melayu di tempat ini. Hasil yang diinginkan adalah jalur budaya Melayu yang kuat didorongi oleh kerjasama dari semua agensi. Marilah kita terus bekerjasama untuk mempertingkatkan taraf kehidupan kita, menjaga pekerjaan dan membina masa depan yang lebih cerah. Terima kasih. Terima kasih, Fami. For the five of us, our central focus is you, our residents. We care at the Marine Parade GRC. We work hard to engage you and seek your feedback. We explore new ways to bring people together as a community. We will outreach to those who are vulnerable and to help them. In fact, we ask you to join us, to help others. As we help others, we change. As more of us change, society changes along with us. And we can build a fundamentally different and better society here at Marine Parade GRC and in Singapore. We ask for your strongest support so that Camping, Edwin, Sealing, Fami and myself can continue to serve you, our residents. Our commitment is to care for all, our lives, our jobs and our future. Do give us your support. Please vote for us. Please vote PAP. Thank you very much. Mayao 这些包括了地理、距离、凝居住的屋子从牙龙市来的传统到家东的美食我们会竭尽所能为您服务我们会跟随您的脚步，我们会与您同行，让您的心声成就未来，让您的想法成就未来，让您的一票成就未来，投工人党一票，谢谢。Dear voters of Marine Parade GRC, 
My name is Nathaniel Koh. The Workers' Party is here again to bring Marine Parade together. Marine Parade GRC is diverse in many ways. Geography, distance, what type of house you live, whether you are young or young at heart. There is strength in diversity, and we want to harness that strength. From the Kampong spirit of Chai Chi, to the history of Ju Chiet, from the village vibe of Siglap, to the hustle of Serangoon, from the working heartland of Ubi, to the neighborliness of Yunos, from the heritage of Gelang Serai, to the flavors of Katong, let us bring Marine Parade together. We, the Workers' Party candidates for Marine Parade GRC, will speak up for you in Parliament. We will speak up on national issues and help you on your local ones. Collectively, we have the experience, expertise, and commitment to serve you. Like you, we are ordinary Singaporeans. We have been through hard times. We know what it's like to fall and get back up. Within Marine Parade GRC, we want to bring Marine Parade together. We want to empower you to shape your community. We will listen to you. We will be guided by you. We will walk with you. Make your voice count. Make your ideas count. Make your vote count. Vote for the Workers' Party. Assalamualaikum. Salam sejahtera kepada para pengundi GRC Marine Parade. Saya Azhar Latif, calon Parti Pekerja bagi kawasan GRC Marine Parade. Parti Pekerja telah kembali sekali lagi dengan matlamat untuk bersama dengan anda. GRC Marine Parade mempunyai kepelbagaian dari segi geografi, jarak, seni bina mahupun usia. Dalam kepelbagaian terdapat kekuatan yang dapat kita manfaatkan Dari semangat kampung Chai Chi sehinggalah ke sejarah Juciat Dari getaran Nadi Siglap sehinggalah kemeriahan Serenggun Dari gerak Nadi pekerja di Ubi sehingga ke semangat kejiranan Yunus Dari warisan Gelang Serai sehinggalah ke akrapan Katong Marilah kita bersatu kami calon parti pekerja bagi kawasan GRC Marine Parade berikrar untuk menjadi suara anda di Parlimen. Kami akan mengetengahkan isu-isu kebangsaan dan membantu anda mengatasi isu-isu tempatan. Berbekalkan pengalaman, kebolehan dan semangat yang jitu, insya Allah kami boleh berkhidmat untuk anda. Seperti anda, kami juga rakyat Singapura biasa. Kami faham cabaran yang anda lalui dan kami bersedia untuk berkhidmat bagi membantu anda bangkit semula. Kami bersatu demi anda untuk anda. Penduduk GRC Marine Parade, anda berhak untuk membentuk masa depan anda. Keluhan anda akan diambil kira, anda tidak akan diabaikan. Suara dan pendapat anda menentukan hala tuju masyarakat dan negara kita. Manfaatkan undi anda, undilah parti pekerja. Dear voters of Marine Parade, my name is Fadli Fauzi. Voting for the Workers' Party means having representatives in Parliament who would listen to you, care for you and fight for you. This is our unwavering commitment. In this broadcast, I want to reassure the residents who are thinking of giving us a chance but who may be anxious about the future of the estate under the Workers' Party. I have served as a town councillor in Aljunit Haugang for the past six years. Managing a town council, especially as the opposition, is indeed challenging. For one, we had to work harder with far fewer resources. We have learned a lot and grown from the experience. We are now better prepared to take over and run a town council effectively. We have also created a new accounting software to help us manage town council matters. This will ensure that the handover process will be smooth and that the services to residents will not be disrupted. So I promise to the residents of Marine Parade, the estate will be kept clean, the lifts will continue to work, and you will still get to enjoy the amenities in the neighbourhood. But the Workers' Party wants to do more than just provide efficient municipal services.
We want to build a marine parade where there is a sense of community and belonging. We want every single marine parade resident to feel that they matter. So let me share with you the Workers' Party's vision for Marine Parade. We want to build a neighbourhood that is inclusive, cohesive and accountable. First, inclusivity is about ensuring that each and every resident of Marine Parade is able to live with dignity. We will pay particular attention to the vulnerable and those with greater needs, especially the elderly and the disadvantaged. Second, cohesion means strengthening the community ethos between the residents and neighbours of Marine Parade. Marine Parade will be a welcoming home for everyone, regardless of your ethnicity or religion or even your political allegiance. Third, accountability reflects our pledge to be transparent and resident-centric on matters of estate governance. We will seek your civic participation in monthly town halls, where we will listen to your thoughts about how to improve Marine Parade. These town halls will also create social capital in the community, making us more resilient in times of crisis. These three principles, inclusivity, cohesion, and accountability are our guiding lights. Under the Workers' Party, Marine Parade will not be just your home, but the neighbourly sanctuary that we all belong to. Marine Parade together. So make your vote count. Vote for the Workers' Party. 大家好,我是余振中,我是一名教育企业家,也曾当过非选区国会议员。I'm Yi Jian Zhong. I contested in Juchet SMC and became a non-constituency member of parliament. I contested in Marine Parade GRC in 2015. I thank all the voters of Juchet and Marine Parade who have supported the Workers' Party since 2006. The Workers' Party is back with yet another dedicated team. We have never left. Over the past few years, despite the difficulties of not having been elected, we have initiated various community projects in this GRC. We continue to visit residents. We are touched by your encouragement and support. You have heard from my team members about our hopes for a better Singapore and a better Marine Parade together. The now daily 400 packs of food distribution that we have initiated since day one of the COVID circuit breaker has taught me that we can have ground out residence programs. The distribution is run by volunteers, some of them living in rental flats with a big heart to help their neighbours. We can build a better marine parade, not just with infrastructure, but to invest in people so that the initiatives can be ground up by Marine Parade residents for Marine Parade residents. The PAP has told you that Singapore has only enough talent for a Team A that only the PAP can run this place. My years of participation in the alternative camp tells me otherwise. Aukang and Aljunit are well maintained just like any town in Singapore. The Workers' Party has raised many issues in Parliament in a responsible manner. Our proposals are made after serious thoughts. I'm concerned that the PAP has led Singapore for the past two decades by simply injecting more capital and labour, especially low-wage migrant workers, without meaningful growth in productivity. This has led to a to an overcrowded Singapore, depressed wages for many of us, and vast inequality. I'm concerned that we have not adapted fast enough to industry disruptions. We have many retrenched PMATs. Many of us struggle with the high cost of living. Two out of three working Singaporeans do not have enough savings beyond six months. It is as if we are two different countries in one small island. Dear Singaporeans, the PAP does not have a monopoly of power. 
our team members are passionate, hardworking and resilient. Ron has many years of experience serving in the grassroots in Aljunit. He served under Mr. Lau Tia Kiang for the in the past three years. Nathaniel, an IT professional, has been with the party for 11 years and is actively assisting Mr. Pritam Singh in constituency work. Azaha had to take a year's break from university to earn money for his school fees. He graduated from NUS, had a stable career. Then he lost his legs and his job after a nasty accident. This did not kill his desire to want to be a voice for ordinary Singaporeans. Fadli is driven by his passion to help the less fortunate. He switched to being a lawyer because he wants to be better equipped to champion for ordinary Singaporeans. He has been a town councillor in Aljunit Aukang for six years. Singapore needs Member of Parliament who can connect with the people, who cares deeply for them. We have the right team to be your voice in Parliament and to manage this town well. The PAP wants 100% dominance of Parliament. They tell you that you can have Joff and CMPs because they want to have it all. They want to win all 93 seats. As a former NCMP, I can tell you that this is not an effective check against the government. The PAP only fears when they start to have low vote share. Do not give the PAP a blank check. Make your vote count. Vote the Workers' Party. Lang ning de yipiao, chen jiu wei lai, ching tou gong ren dang yipiao. Xie xie.